Lord, Shalom, Shalom, Yashallah. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Akakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone, peace and salutation to you, Akiam. Oh, there's pushing the truth in love and sincerity and in charity with all humility. Okay, this is the brother Yashawan from the GMS Bahamas Gambaka deal with another brief lesson. Okay, you see in the title, Evil in the last days okay evil in the last days okay the scripture speaks about how men should be lovers of themselves okay how many should be walking after their own ungodly lust which lust which ungodly lust would lead to sin and sin lead to ultimately death okay so when you check it out in these times okay the evil which goes back to bad times okay in these times that it, that that is now and, and and about to come it's going to be very very bad okay you have akim okay is this going to leave the fate okay going after their own on godly lusts all right you have uh more wickedness uh increasing okay uh people the love of many shall wax cold okay a whole heap of stuff is gonna be taking place okay as the apostle Taha deemed this year the year the hopefully of Jacob trouble all right we've seen it okay this is the beginning okay all right so a question was asked are we in Jacob trouble okay are we in Jacob trouble all right so just look around okay and see what's going on not just here in our in our backyard but all around the world okay look what's going on in Odi and Haiti okay pure evil okay you ever watched that movie Hotel Rwanda okay you should go ahead and check that out Hotel Rwanda okay certain reports stating that Odi and Haiti the gang leader the gangs taking over or eighty percent of the country okay and what's going on over there people are being uh killed women are being ravished okay people are being killed and they 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 what they dead they lay right right where they stay okay that's where they die and they stay there and people walk over them you know as a though hey, that's trash all right but really and truly that's what it is okay and then you have people other people okay who are israelites those so-called haitians okay which which are which are the the uh levites according to the scriptures all right they eating up each other over there okay so somebody killed today all right they lie right there wherever they are they are being killed okay and somebody who need who, who are been lacking food for a couple of days whatever all right they'll go ahead and eat that poison okay so yeah man uh, this is jude 1 and 17 say beloved but beloved remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our lord yahweh mashiach how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lust okay mockers scoffers all right men of the world people of the world okay who will see us out on highways and byways okay and they will what they, what they will do they will mock us they will scoff at us okay and continue to walk in ungodly lusts, continue to walk in ungodly desires of their hearts, okay, thinking that it is right, following after Pastor Pork Chop, Deacon Bacon, and Reverend Ham. Okay, so uh, let's check this in the GNT version. Okay, it says, But remember, my friends, what you were told in the past. By the apostles of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, they said to you, 
when the last days come, people will appear who will make fun of you. People who follow their own godless desires. You see that? <laughs> Alright. Let's shoot down here to the NIRV. Okay. They say, Dear friends, remember what the apostle of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach said would happen. They told you, in the last days, some people will make fun of the truth. You see? They will follow their own ungodly desires. And that's exactly what happening now. People making fun of the truth. People uh, commenting on other brothers' uh, comment board. But why we don't come off of, of these corners? Okay, making the uh, Israel shame or something to that effect. Okay, scoffing. Alright? All because they want to live in their wickedness. Okay, comfortably in their wickedness. All right, doing all manner of evil. Okay, the TLB say, dear friends, remember what the apostle of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, told you that in the last times there would come these scoffers whose whole purpose in life is to enjoy themselves in every evil way imaginable. Okay. Just as I said, all right, they take joy in folly. Okay, so therefore the, the evil will increase, the wickedness will increase. Okay, Peter also said this would happen, and we've seen it every single day. Okay, we've seen it. All right, so we can shoot here at the second Peter. Chapter 3, you can take it out with uh, 1 in the King James Version. Okay? You see, this second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both, which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Okay? That ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment. Of us, the apostles of the Lord and, uh, and Savior, knowing this voice that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts. Okay, walking after their own evil desires. Okay, and this is evil in the last days, and we've seen it daily. Okay, daily we've seen it. Okay, just check how many people uh, be on their phone straight through. Alright, just, just check it out. Okay, many people, they go on their phones and they be on their phone all day, all night. It's like, they, it's like, it's like uh, they made a covenant with their phone. Okay, that, that, they, that they should be on their phone a certain percent of the day. Okay, like you have a hundred percent, they should be on their phone at least 98 percent. Okay, so for us who serve in Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth, should continue to do so through His Spirit and living in the fear of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, let us continue to strive even until the end, okay, when we may have uh, temptations and tribulation and going through hell, the Most High know it how to deliver us out of those things, okay, He knows how to deliver us, all right, when we, when, when, our, when um, the evil come, okay, when the love of, when the, the love wax cold amongst these people, all right, when when in famines, okay, when in, in, in great tribulations, the Most High would, would deliver us, okay, as His word stated, okay, <laughs> and this word, His word is true. All right, neither can they lie, okay. You see, the Lord knoweth Second Peter two and nine. 
the Lord knows how to deliver down the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Okay, all those who go on against his will. Even for Akim who know, who know the way of the Lord, still go against his will. So therefore they are they are unjust unto that day. Okay, they are unjust. Alright? They are ungodly. Because why? They ain't they ain't taking this thing serious. Okay? They won't do their own thing. Okay, they let lust con- uh, conceive it in their hearts. Okay, so therefore on that day judgment will, will be carried out. Alright? Say please ten. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanliness, which which go in which that uncleanliness uh, going in, into man with man, woman with woman and all that type of garbage, eating off the abominable table and all that. Okay? And despise governments, presumptuous are they self will, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Okay, in the government right there is 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 a uh, is the on is the honorable okay all right <clears throat> the authority those who in authority okay and we have the authority from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to speak this word boldly okay all right boldly Okay, so when they despise or evil or, or speak evil of us, okay, you're doing it. You're speaking that evil, okay, of the Most High or to the Most High. Okay, all right, because they say presumptuously they, uh, they are. Okay, so let's get Exodus. Alright, chapter 22 and verse 28. Alright, what's the scripture tell you? Thou shalt not revile the gods, nor curse the ruler of thy people. Okay, the gods, you should not revile the gods. Okay, so there are punishments. Alright, there's punishments all around. For these people that scoff and mock the Lord's uh, uh, messengers, his prophets. Okay, when they say, not, Thou shalt not revile the gods, speaking about the Israelites, men. Okay, because we are gods. Okay. But the scriptures say, Ye are gods, and all you are the children of the Most High, right? Okay. Let me just look that up. Okay. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. Right? And you see here in John 10 and 34, Yahweh Shai answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? Okay, so we are gods. And the, and the scriptures say we find not the gods. Okay. So when you talk uh all when you talk about us, or about the man of the Lord and uh, about the prophets, okay, what you done is you you reviling. Okay. You're talking bad about about the God, about uh the Lord's men. Okay. Let's look up this word uh, revile. Okay, which is which is uh, rev reviler. Right? Okay, Exodus twenty two. Okay, and twenty eight. Alright. You say uh qualal to be slight. Be swift, be trifling, to be little, to uh, be of little account, be light. Okay. Alright. 
Oke. Okay. You see? Alright. Number two here. Say to treat with contempt, bring contempt or dishonor. Okay, and this is what you done. We all right when you when you revile uh the man of the Lord, you dishonor in them. Okay. Okay. And and in the strong one part say make bright bring into contempt. A curse, despise. Okay. And that's what that's what you people do. Alright. So when the evils grow upon the earth, alright, this is what is gonna happen even to the man of the Lord. Okay. The man of the Lord will be greatly dishonored. Alright, but that's okay. The Lord dishonored uh, the Lord honors honors his men. Okay. And we don't look we don't look for honor from these wicked people anyhow. Okay. And we don't really and truly you don't you don't you ain't dishonoring uh us. You are you dishonor the one who sent us. Okay. Alright. And presumptuous presumptuous. Alright, as the scriptures say. Okay. Uh when it really is bold. Okay, going back to second Peter two and nine, nine and ten. Okay. Presumptuous are they, which is they bold, and self will, which is arrogant. Okay, so you are bold, arrogant, foolish, sad people. Okay, so let's go back. Salah. All right, let's go back here yeah, to uh, what is Second Peter chapter 2. And verse 10, you say, But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanliness and despise authority, bold are they, arrogant. All right, bold are they, arrogant. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Okay. Dignitaries, dignitaries, all right. They are not uh, uh, afraid of to speak of, okay. The man of the Lord, all right. One time ago, growing up, all right, before you come in this truth, you know, uh, we used to, when we do bad things or whatever, or bad, things would be considered to be bad, but we used to walk past the heart of the house, we used to be afraid. All right, so now, nowadays, you aren't afraid, okay? And I could, I could say now that, that a lot of people, they know, they know us as prophets of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai, out in the streets, okay? Now, they just will come at us even more, okay? With speaking uh, uh, evil, okay? All right, they come bold, okay? But at the end of the day, all right, at the end of the day, it, it would help build us up even more, okay, even more, all right. This is Second Peter 2 and 10 in the AMPC. And particularly those who walk after the flesh and indulge in the lust of polluting passion and scorn and despise authority. Presumptuous and daring, self will and self loving creatures, they scoff at and revile dignitaries, the glorious ones, without trembling. We consider the glorious ones. Okay. So they, 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 can, they can do what they gotta do. Okay. Because why? Evil will be increasing that day. All right. Evil will be increased. All right. The love of many will wax cold. All right. This is the BSB. Such punishment is 
especially reserved for those who indulge the corrupt desires of the flesh and despise authorities, bold and self will they are unafraid to slander glorious beings. Okay? So, this is what we looking at and, and, and this is what, what is to come. Okay? As a matter of fact, they, 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 they've been doing this. It's just gonna go, it's just gonna get turned turned up. Okay. It's just gonna get turned up. Alright. So let's get second Timothy chapter three in verse one. Oh. Second Timothy. Okay. Chapter one, chapter three, verse one to five. All right, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right, for men shall be lovers of them, of their own self, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontentment, fierce, despisers of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of the Mosai, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. Okay, which, which goes into narcissists. Narcissists. Okay, narcissists. All right, that's what that goes into. Okay, and all that is evil. Okay, so the, so the evil, all right, is going to turn up. Okay, now let's get this here in, in uh, the MSG version. All right, you know what I got to say. Okay, you see, don't be naive. All right, there are difficult times ahead. As the end approaches, people are going to be self aborted money hungry, and we're seeing this. Everything about to read, we are seeing this right now. Okay? Alright, people are going to be self aborted meaning they're, kill, they're killing themselves, taking their own lives. Money hungry, the love of money is the root of all evil. Self promoting, all right, narcissist, stuck up, profane, which is unholy, then all manner of wickedness, contempt, contempt to us of parents, disobedience to parents, crude, coarse, dog eat dog. That's that's like, like they say, we're in a doggy dog world, all right, unbending. Slanderous, impulsive, wild, savage, cynical, treacherous, rootless, bloated, windbags, addicted to lust. Oh, addicted to lust, which will lead to will lead to sin and ultimately lead to death. And allergic, allergic to the most high. All right, allergic. To the Mosai. So the Mosai will be not at all in their thoughts, not at all in their minds. Okay, and this would be for the people in the world, okay, and people who know the truth in these camps as well. Okay, because the Mosai have his elect, and only his elect is going to be secured. Okay, they'll make a, a show of religion. But behind the scenes, they are animals. All right? Were they saying they're making a show? Like, like the art brought out the lesson last week to camp? Okay. A nigga is wear fringes. A nigga is be on the street preaching. A nigga is do this and do that too. Okay. That's the wolf in the sheep clothing. Okay. You already see? 
behind, but behind the scenes, they are animals. But behind the scenes, they're doing all manner of wickedness. Okay? Stay clear of these people. All right? And let's shoot up here to the AMPC version. All right, and there's a whole lot right here it's going gonna, it's gonna to go into. Okay? Say, but understand this, that in the last days will come, set in perilous times of great stress and trouble. This is coming. Great stress and trouble. Whether it be with your woman, whether it be with your job, whether it be with your children, whether it be with your, 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 your pets, whether it be your light bill, your phone bill, your water bill, your cable bill, your internet bill, problems with, with, with people who you know, all this stuff is going to happen. Okay? Infirmities in the bodies, all that. Hard to deal with and hard to bear. Okay? Many people, this is why the scripture also say in that translation that many would have bought it themselves, killed themselves because they can't deal with, with distress. They can't deal with this trouble because it's hard to bear. Okay? For people will be lovers of themselves. Okay? And utterly self-centered. Okay? Narcissists. You love yourself too much. Lovers of money and aroused by an inordinate desire, greedy desire for wealth. You see? Proud and arrogant and contemptuous boasters. Proud, arrogant, contemptuous boasters. Okay? You got this, you got that. Everybody got to know you have it. Alright? This is why when the farming come, okay, everybody know you got it, so we didn't even go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they will be abusive. Okay, fighting this way, fighting that way, insurrection in the city. All right, sedition, blasphemous, scoffing. Okay, talking about the, the word of the Lord, not, 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 not paying no regard to it. Disobedient to parents, young children, them, they ain't got no time for the listen to what mommy and daddy got to say. All right. Men, men in the camp. The the, the set that is that is on on uh, the set is that is out of order. They ain't gonna listen to that to their uh, heads. Okay, so therefore the most are gonna take them out. Okay, ungrateful because you get many of them ungrateful, unholy, and profane. Unholy, you doing all manner of wickedness. You are covered in. You get an evil eye towards this one and that one. Okay. And you perform at it too, like Esau, because you're following uh, uh, like the brother. You want me to say Big Daddy Esau? Okay, they will be without natural human affection. You won't get no flicking love. Okay, call us an inhuman. Okay, relentless, admitting to admitting of no truth or appeasement. They will be slanderous, false accusers, troublemakers. Okay, and that's what it's going to be in these times with coming. Intemperate and loose in morals and conduct. Okay, for Akim who don't have no order, who don't have no morals, who don't have no conduct, the Lord is going to get you, boy. All right. Uncontrolled and fierce haters of good. Haters of mother flicking good. Okay, and that's what's gonna come. Because remember, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay. They will be treacherous, betrayers, alright, rash, and inflated with self conceit. Let me read that again. They will be treacherous, betrayers, rash, right? And inflated and self conceit. Okay, so the one who you trust will flick and betray you. Okay, the one who you trust, okay, 
at the end of the day, you get it and they ain't get it, they come in for it. Okay? They will be lovers of sensual pleasures and vain amusement more than uh, and rather than lovers of the Mosai. Okay? Sensual pleasures. Okay? They're trying to fill the, the, their desires of that lust. Okay, they don't care and they don't t- they don't care what it takes. Okay? They don't care what it takes. All right? For although they hold a form of piety through religion or this truth, they deny and reject and are strangers to the power of it. Their conduct belies the genuineness of their profession. All right? So you may say, yeah, you you, 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 you right with the Lord and all that. Remember I said a little earlier, nigga, he could be out on the highways and byways prophesying. Okay, reading this, 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 this word, teaching. All right? Doing lesson, doing all that. A nigga could be doing all that. Okay? But at the end of the day, Okay, what is done in the dark will come out in the light. All right, you see, they deny, for although they had hold a form of piety, they deny and reject and are strangers to the power of it. Their conduct belies the genuineness of their professions. Avoid all such people turn away from them. Okay, that's what the scriptures say. Okay. Turn away from, from these people because evil in the last days is going to be turned up. Okay, it's going to be turned up. All right. I tell you. Okay. Let's get a. Let's get a Titus. Okay. Chapter 1 and verse 16. They profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate okay and that's exactly what's gonna happen all right they profess that they know the lord how many of our people say they know the lord check this check these pastors they say they know the lord okay the scriptures say he that know the lord he doesn't know me keep it not my commandment is a liar and the truth is not in him Okay, so they don't know the Lord. This is why they can be evil in the, in these last days. Okay, because they say, but in their in works they deny Him, because they have no works. They say they have faith, but they don't have no works. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Let me just look this up. Matthew 24 and 12. And because iniquity shall abound, iniquity is multiple sins stacking. All right. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay. Surely it's coming. All right. Evil in the last days. Okay. It's going to be like no other. All right. Scriptures tell you then. Okay, Daniel chapter 12. All right. So yeah, man, so with that, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Magakodash. Shalom and a Bible ball. Kwam Yashallah.